Okay, hi guys. Um, basically, I'm in Leicester Square, um, evangelizing with my friends. Um, normally, I do apologetics. I'm not interested so much in, in polemics. However, I found some disturbing information um, from Islamic literature. So, I'm planning to go up to the Dawah team because they're scholars, right? And ask them about it and see if they can shed some light on this kind of controversial um, verses that I found. And that's it. We'll see if they agree to do a debate. All right. A 10 minute debate. <laughs> okay. Is it filming? All right. Hi, how are you? So my name is Amy and uh, um, this guy knows me very well from Speaker's Corner and I wanted to ask you some questions please because you guys are very knowledgeable no. you're not knowledgeable no. who said I'm, I'm knowledgeable? I don't know, I don't know, you know, but usually the Dawa people are very knowledgeable depends okay, you're not knowledgeable no, I can say to you that Allah is one and that's it? yeah okay <laughs> You're very faithful then, if that's enough for you to believe. Yeah, and this is the most important thing. Well, what if you're wrong? I mean... Um, that Allah is not what? Well, what if Allah is not God? Do you know what means the word Allah? Oh, hold on a second, right. Some, can you pause it one minute, because Sam is calling me. Pause it, one second. Allah is one, but you don't know anything else. I know things. You know, Algeria. Oh, okay. You know where I live in this part. I know things. Depends what you ask. I mean, so I, you come in here? I. Okay, I came here. This guy knows me very well from Speaker's Corner, actually. So you go to Speaker's Corner. I go to Speaker's Corner. I came here to look for someone called Muhammad Ali. Is he here? No, he's not here. Oh. So there is no one that can talk to me then. About? I have some questions to ask. The questions from Speaker's Corner, they have, uh, from my experience, they will not take you anywhere. Because there, it's about views, about who has more subscribers. It's not about sincerity, you're seeking knowledge, seeking truth. It's about just making views and making money and so on. I, I agree with that. Um, however, I, why you're recording? You're not here to ask. You are here to record. To yeah, but they record me all the time, right? Yeah, and not I'm, you, not you. Yeah, but I didn't record uh, you coming to me to record me. Uh? If you, if you, if you, I can see sincerity from people. You know, mm -hmm. that's why I don't go there. Because you sincere, but most of them, all of them, they are having some agendas and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with you. There is a lot. I mean, I personally, I have a job, so I don't do this for money. I do this because I'm a Christian and I don't want people to go to hell. How are you? I came here to look for Muhammad Ali, but he's not here because you said he comes on a Friday. So um, I'm here because I don't want people to go to hell. That's my motivation, right? And I want to find the truth. And I think that it's important for people to talk about things. Are you looking? For the truth in Islam? No, I am here to. Uh, the truth is in Jesus Christ, but equally. So why are you coming to us? Um, because we have to have debates, right? They debate me, the Dawah team, all the time, and we need to. It's important to um, address things together so to unpick the I truth. Am I preaching to you? No, but because you're coming to me. If you come in to me, we speak. We should speak about Islam. Mm. Yeah. But if you come to me to say to you that you, to me that you found the truth and it's Christianity, so you're coming to preach for me the Christianity, no? Mm. I, as well, I don't want you to perish. I don't want anyone to perish, right? Okay. Yeah. So what is what is what is the the key for salvation in your religion? Uh, Jesus Christ, the the cross, the crucifixion is a very good question, right? Jesus so, Christ, the cross, the crucifixion. Yeah, so Jesus, died, Jesus Christ, who is the big, only begotten Son of God, 
He died on the cross to take up the sins of the, the world. And when he resurrected, he defeated Satan and he defeated death on the cross. And by his stripes we're healed. That's salvation. What about in Islam? In Islam, it's to believe in the true God, Allah, and to follow the guidance, follow, follow the guidance which was sent to you. Mm -hmm. That's that would be your salvation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you did you understand? Uh, sorry, could somebody is calling me again? Can you? Right. Take up too much of this man. What's your name, by the way, if you want to? Abdul Haq. Okay. Uh, my name is Amy, like I said. So, um, could you repeat your last point again? Because uh, I was distracted, so please repeat. I said salvation in Islam is to believe in Allah, the one true God, and following the guidance which was sent to, to you. Mm -hmm. So that means if you live in the time of Abraham, you must believe in Allah and follow the guidance which was sent to you through the Prophet Abraham. Mm -hmm. You know, because Abraham was there to show you the recent guidance mm -hmm. from Allah. If you are in the time of Jesus, you must believe in Allah mm -hmm. and follow in the guidance which was sent to you through Prophet. So Jesus. is Allah the name of God or what yeah. does the name? Because um, um, there is no no one in the Old Testament, New Testament called God Allah. They called him many names, but there was. Absolutely. Obviously, in Arabic countries, because they're influenced by Arabic, they they can use Allah even in the Bible. But back then, you know, in, you know, during the time when people spoke in Aramaic, Jewish, Greek, no one called God Allah. What What is the name of God in Aramaic? I don't know. To be honest, you you put me on the spot. What is it? It's not Allah. It's Allah. Allah. Yeah. So is it closer to Allah or is it closer to God? Is I mean the names that I know are um, Elohim, Yahweh. Elohim is it close to Allah or is not? Is close mm -hmm. to God. But do you know Elohim is a plural name? Huh? Elohim is a plural name. Oh. It is. So, so in your Bible, mm -hmm. so God spoke to Moses and he said, "I will make you Elohim for those people." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Let me find uh, it. We can go. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to go now? Yeah, yeah because like Why? I'm speaking to you. No, I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking at the words, right? If I'm looking, I'm looking at the words that, you, that you're saying, right? Because yeah. we're having a con That's why I have my phone out. Yeah. Right. Um, so, Eloha is a singular name. Elohim is a plural yeah. because the God is plural. Now, I guess... God to, yes, God is a trinity. So, God is God one. Is God, is a, God is triune, manifested in Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Now. What I wanted to ask you, um, one of you guys specifically, is um, in terms of um, Islam, in terms of salvation, right? What is the difference between salvation and rewards? What's the difference between salvation and Yeah, so you get saved by believing, obviously, that Allah is one and there is no partners and Muhammad is the messenger, right? That's the Shahada. Um, but what about the rewards? So the reward is part of the salvation. Mm -hmm. Do you? Because I came across um, a verse um, that I wanted to find out your thoughts. There's two things I wanted to bring up. You know, um, one of them. Um, I'm, I'm just looking for it, by the way, just to explain. I'm not being disrespectful, text. I'm just looking for the verse. Thank you. Um, but thank you for your time, anyway. So. The first verse I wanted to ask you, so in Quran 25:70 it says, except for those who repent, believe and do righteous work, for them Allah will replace their evil deeds with good and ever as Allah is forgiven and merciful. Now, I, I, you can read it again just so that you understand. Yeah. Okay. What, what do you think that means to you when you read that? What do you think it means to you? You have the reference. Is uh, Quran 20... 570 you can look it up if you want the, the thing is look i'll be honest with you i don't do videos mm -hmm. because a lot of people when they're not sincere they will cut and they will edit and it will not be the same thing which i'm speaking to you know? mm -hmm. so don't expect that i'm gonna go far with you, you understand because it happened a lot it happened a lot that you come oh i'm christian i want to ask you this question i want to ask you this question and in the end, you will cut the videos, you will take the bits which you want, 
and you will put a video. You understand? I, I can see this on camera, right? That you, uh, we will not be cutting the video. There was two moments where the cameraman might have posed because I was phoning somebody. But from now, you will see the video, right? Apart from the two poses from here till the end, I, I hear what you're saying, and uh, we're here to seek the truth. I'm not here to uh, humiliate you. I'm not here to disrespect you. I'm here to have a, a conversation, um, theological conversation, because, so, I just have this verse and one other, and that's it, because I wanted to get an understanding from a Muslim, because I'm not a Muslim. Yeah, so what do you, what do you even understand in that one? What did you, like, you, you had the, the verse there. Did so. you find it on your phone? Yeah. Okay, so my understanding is that um, basically Allah um, will turn, so when you repent and do your shahada, he will turn your evil sins into rewards. Now, if you look at salvation in, in Islam, salvation, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not a Muslim, so salvation in Islam is by deeds, isn't it? You put, your, your deeds are put on a scale. Faith and deeds. Faith and deeds, okay. So, from my understanding, your deeds are put on a scale, right? And I can get the reference That's for that. For the believers. For the believers. Yeah. Non believers, they will not have deeds. Because mm -hmm. all their deeds, they are not valid. Yes, absolutely. So you, you worship Jesus, so you're doing the things for Jesus. So, in the day of judgment, Jesus will come and he will say to you, I never command you to do things. Mm -hmm. you know, I never command you to worship me. I never command you to, to earn salvation through me. You understand? Mm -hmm. So in that day, Jesus, he will be free from you. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, that's obviously the East side in the Quran says that. Yeah. In the Jesus in the Bible is, a, is another Jesus. Obviously, you have your Jesus. We have an, our Jesus. Yeah, but, but it will be only one Jesus, either true Jesus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. But the, the Bible talks about different Jesuses. But now going back to this, right, specifically. Yeah. Um, so what does that mean to you? If we read it again, if except for those who repent, believe and do righteous work, for them, Allah will replace the evil deeds with good, right? Um, what do you understand about it? Because um, for me, it doesn't sound right, yeah? And I'll explain why, but I wanted to find out what do you think about it, because... Why it doesn't sound right? Okay, so, let's see. I, I told you, it's not just about deeds, it's about both. Mm -hmm. Because believing in Allah and doing the righteousness. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, don't forget the, the, the part of, of the belief, of the faith, and focus just on the actions. Mm -hmm. It's them both. Mm -hmm. They go together. You believe in Allah, and you implement that belief. You understand? Mm -hmm. By following the guidance of Allah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Allah is Rahim. Listen, sir, can I ask you politely? I'm happy to talk to you after. I just, because, uh, okay. thank you. I, I will talk to you after, yeah? Right, so, um, now, let's say that I'm a Muslim. Let's, let's say that I'm a believer, you're a believer. I try my best to do what is right, okay? Every day I try my best to do the prophylics of, of Islam. Now you, on the other hand, um, you killed a hundred people. And then you, obviously, you're a Muslim, you follow the five pillars. Now, according to this, you will get more rewards because it, Allah says that your bad, your sins will turn into rewards. So if I commit less sins, you know, you will be more rewarded according to this. Please explain it because to me, when I read this verse, that's how it comes across like. Have you read that verse only or you read all the passages? I, I have read another hadith that explains this further and I'm happy to share but I wanted to know from your understanding, what do you understand? Because I'm not a Muslim and that's why I'm asking a Muslim to explain it because to me it sounds that the more deeds you do, the more sins you do, the more uh, rewards you will get. That's what it seems like. Obviously, provided that you repent and turn to Allah, I don't know, like, I don't see that this is a question because you're saying that someone, he knows when he will die and he can schedule his, his repentance. It doesn't work like that. Mm. Do you know when you're going to die? 
No, God knows. Yeah, the so Bible if says our days are numbered. I say I will kill 100 person, and then I repent, and so all my bad deeds will be good deeds. Uh, um, uh, don't interrupt, us, please, because I do, I just wanted me and him. We'll talk after that, Alan, please. Yeah. Is Sorry. She is, but I want to have a one-to-one -one, because I said to the man to wait. So I'll tell my friend the same. So it's just me and you. Can you repeat it, please? Because I. So I said. Yeah. With this verse, you don't understand that someone, he was planning this, that I will do sins mm -hmm. and before I die, I will repent and those sins, they will turn to good deed. That's mm -hmm. like, that's not reasonable at all. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. So, and if you read the Quran, the, the, the verses, Allah is speaking about the, the characters of the good people. Who are they? How they behave, you know? But you just took that verse and you want to make Islam is about that verse. No, and I, no, I tell you where it comes from so you get an understanding. So I, um, I had a conversation with a man called Ali Dawa. You know him, right? Yeah. He's very famous. And, he, and that's where I heard this thing from. I wasn't searching for it, but we were having a conversation. And he said uh, that Allah is so merciful. Guess what? Uh, all your uh, bad sins, he turned them into good things, right? So, and I, and I never forget this, this, I was like, what? Like your sins turn into rewards? Like that sounds perverse, right? And then I heard Mohammed Ijab saying the same thing to Andrew Tate, you know? And when I heard him, then I was like, I need to Google this because it doesn't sound right that you get rewarded for your sins. Um, and that's why I hear what you're saying, that only God knows when we're going to die and it doesn't work like that. But equally, you know, it's, it's like, where, what is the justice in this? You know, that a person, you know, has a very sinful lifestyle and uh, the more sins they do, obviously provided that they commit to Allah and all the rest, they will get more rewards as opposed to somebody who said who, that they will get that, more rewards? The, the Quran tells you that. No, but he didn't, he didn't, the Quran doesn't say that he, they will get more reward than that. But what does it mean? But what does it mean that the evil deeds will be replaced with good? And I, what does that mean to you? That when you reach to the truth and you accept and you sincerely do it and you repent, Allah will turn your bad deeds which you've done to good deeds. Mm -hmm. And how many times can you do that? It doesn't say that in the Quran how many yeah, times. Do you know what means repentance? Yeah, what yeah. Means uh, it means that you regret what the bad th things that you've done and you turn away you from them. Stop the bad things. Yeah. yeah. If you can fix it, you try to fix it. Mm -hmm. Sincerely regret it mm -hmm. and ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I, I do understand, but in Islam, right? So correct me if I'm wrong. Do you go to the to the um, um, Mecca, right, to the Grand Mosque in Mecca, because your sins are forgiven, right? When you do that, it says that in a hadith. It's an act of worship. Yeah. So, but, so we pray. Mm -hmm. So each prayer, it's an act of worship. Mm -hmm. That's Allah will reward us for that prayer. Mm -hmm. And Allah will forgive our sins. Mm -hmm. You know, you understand? So why? Because between the prayer and the prayer. There is, there is this time, uh, Prophet Muhammad said that Allah will forgive your sins between the prayer and the prayer. And obviously there is in Islam major sins and minor sins mm -hmm. as well, you know. Mm -hmm. There is my, my major sins that can take you out of Islam. Mm -hmm. you know, from, like shirk. Like, like okay. shirk, like uh, seher, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, the, uh, so okay. It doesn't mean that I will do whatever I want. I say, oh Allah, in the evening I repented, tomorrow I'll mm -hmm. do the same, I repent. No, it doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. So That's where is the justice then? Where is the justice in this? So which justice you speak of? Well, the justice, where is the justice for your sins? So, like, you mean that you want that Allah punish every sins we do? Mm -hmm. Is what you want? No, I, I uh, well, obviously, as Christians, right, we are forgiven because of what Jesus did on the cross. And, and that's, that's the justice. That's, not justice that's the justice. That's now, justice. Th what is not just is, well, I hear what you're saying, but the interpretation, the reality is that in the Quran, it tells you that your sins will turn into rewards. So in practice, although obviously we shouldn't be devious in our behavior, the reality is that the more sins you will do, the more rewards you get. And I, and I further prove this to you. Like the, the verse doesn't say that. Well, I will prove this to you now with an adit, and that's the last thing I wanted to share with you. But it doesn't say that. 
Well, it says that your sins are turning to rewards. That doesn't mean that you will have more than someone who didn't sin. It does, but it doesn't say that any other, uh, like, another way. For example, do you know what is the, the reward in Islam? Um, yeah, it's kind of um, kind of taboo to discuss. <laughs> Lots, I don't even want to say. It's embarrassing. One pound for charity. Mm -hmm. How many rewards you will have? I don't know. So in Islam, each 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 action of, of goodness, you will do. It will be multiplied by at least ten. Mm -hmm. By at least ten, mm -hmm. and Allah can multiply more mm -hmm. to whoever He will. Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. So if you do, you give one pound as charity, mm -hmm. you will have the record of ten pounds as charity. Mm -hmm. Understand? This is the minimum, mm -hmm. and it can go more and more and more. Mm -hmm. This is one of the mercy of Allah. Mm -hmm. That Allah give you like a chance that it will be multiplied by ten or more. Mm -hmm. This is to to motivate you and to not lose hope, to not, mm -hmm. to not despair. Mm -hmm. So where is the justice when you commit a sin? Is there any justice given that your sins are turned into rewards? Is there, we know Allah is clearly merciful, but He is not just because there is no justice. So you see, you're, you're saying that someone who repents, he should be punished. Well, in a, the Bible says that the, the cost of sin is death, right? So, the, and this is why, this is the whole purpose of the crucifixion is that Jesus died on the cross to satisfy the wrath of God because the cost of sin is that now if Allah forgives you but he, and, he, and He rewards you for your sins, there is no justice. Do you know, do you know the story of Zacchaeus in the Bible? Yes. Which, which verses? The tax collector, Zacchaeus. Yeah. Do you know his story? Yeah. So read his story and tell me. You know? So what, what about him that Jesus forgave him? It's your religion. So Jesus, but we're, to, but we're here talking about the Quran. This is a red herring, right? So you, this is a red herring. The is clear. Right, I will... You, we, I'm going to talk about the hadith now and then I, I, that's all I wanted to discuss because otherwise it's, it becomes a red herring, right? What is red herring? Red herring is when you change subject. No, it's still with the salvation you claim that the Bible said mm -hmm. that the, 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 the penalty for sins is death. Yeah. Yeah. And I gave you the example from the Bible mm -hmm. that I said to you, read the story of Zacchaeus. Mm -hmm. It's in the same, same topic. So what? what what, so Jesus forgave him? Yeah, yeah but who not, is... Not, why? Jesus said, I forgive, I forgive you? Jesus says that I am the door, I am the resurrection. No, no, the story the only, no, I, So what, what are you trying to say? Let's, let's read the hadith because now he's changing subject to the Bible. This is what Muslim people do. They don't want to talk about the Quran. So they talk about the Bible. I'm gonna, the Bible or, or me? I'm going to read the hadith, right? From um, so, Sabir Im Kabir, uh, uh, so I know the last person who will be brought forth from hell and the last person who will enter paradise. A man will be brought and it will be said, take away his major sins and ask him about his minor sins. So it will be said to him, on such and such a day you did such and such, and on such and such a day you did such and such. And until here, all, all so far so good. He will say yes and he will not be able to deny anything. Then it will be said to him, for every evil deed, you now have one good merit. He will say, oh Lord, I did things that I do not even see here. He, Abu Da said, and the messenger of Allah smiled so broadly that his smallest could be seen, Muslim recorded. A Babi Hatim recorded that Abu Jabi heard Marco say, a very old man with sunken eyes came and said, oh messenger of Allah, a man betrayed others and did immoral deeds, and there was no evil deed which he did not do. If his sins were to be distributed among the whole mankind, they would all be doomed. Is there any repentance for him? The Messenger of Allah said, Have you become Muslim? He said, As for me, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, with no partner or associate, and that Muhammad is servant and messenger. The Prophet said, Allah will forgive you for whatever you've done like that, and he will replace your evil deeds with good merits. 
The man said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, even my betrayal and immoral actions, the Prophet said, even your betrayals and immoral actions, the man went away saying, La la la, Allah Akbar, and tell us how Allah shows his mercy, extends to all his creatures, and whoever among them repents to him, he will accept repentance for anything great or small. Um, so basically, the, the point in here is a very long uh, text, is that it clearly states in the deed how your sins will be turned into good deeds. So I repeat to you, if I kill a hundred people, I'm going to get a lot of rewards. How is that justice? That is not justice. That is that is wicked. Do you want to kill 100 persons? I don't, but this is an incentive. Because this is an incentive. This is what um, Muhammad Ijab and Ali Dawa are saying to people that Allah will turn your sins into good deeds. This is wicked. This is satanic. And this is why, don't you think it's wicked? I don't want to do that. But objectively, don't you think this is wicked? That the more sins you do, the more rewards you get. This is evil. This is your, your, your understanding. This is my understanding. That's, I don't know what about your understanding, but... Does Islam teach you to hide your sin? We should not be proud of our sins, of course. Yeah, so do, do you, do you tell... Do you confess your sins to anyone? Why? Uh, because in the Bible it says, right, confess your sins to one another so that you may be healed. In Islam there is no accountability, you turn it between you and Allah, and then Allah will forgive you and turn your bad deeds, your, your sins into good deeds, into rewards. This is twisted. Don't you agree with that? Objectively, this is twisted, right? I, I kill a hundred people and I get a lot of rewards. Another person, right? they try to do their best to live a, a straight life, they won't get as much rewards. Speaking like, like you, you having the, the, the salvation in your religion that, oh, it's so just and everything. It is just. This is just, this is what people, this is the problem, you know, Muslims say, oh, how is it just that um, uh, God put an innocent man on the cross to die for your sins, right? First of all, Jesus Christ, he willingly put himself on the cross, right? He, he willingly, it was not suicide, he willingly, because that was the only way for us to get saved, right? Okay, so you want to come here for late, every two weeks, you want to debate with the Muhammad, right? So I'm going to get my camera, so I need my witnesses, right? Let's done it today, then today, okay? I'm going to make a camera today, Muhammad coming now, so we're going to have a debate. I finished a debate with him, but no, maybe somebody else will talk to him, that's fine. So for me, you called him for specifically for no, me. You came for two weeks, you said Muhammad, you're looking for Muhammad. <laughs> okay. That's fine, I'm I had my a, conversation now. I'm not a debater, you're asking me about Muhammad, you mm. said about Muhammad, so you want to ask a question to Muhammad. He's on his way, I'm going to get my camera, so we're going to make a camera, because we can't, we can't debate with you, only your camera, because I don't trust you. But your friends are debating my friend with his camera, yeah, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not okay for us to do yes, it, but it's okay that, no, no. It's for them to do it. That's nothing to do, nothing to do with you, that's different. That's different, because, they see yeah. the double standards. No, it's not double standard. No, so he's complaining that we're filming with a Christian camera when Sam is being filmed by Sam Dawa. There is no Christian camera there. You see and you are asking for the truth and you are sharing, like, coming to give us salvation to save us. Why you change? I haven't changed. I don't want you to go to hell. And this is what... Okay, I won't point my finger. That's true. That's rude. Right. I don't want you to go to hell and I don't want people watching to go to hell either. This is why I'm pointing out the perversion of Islam that your, your sins will be turned into rewards. That is wicked and satanic, right? In Christianity we are taught that Jesus died on the cross for us, for our sins and by his stripes we are healed, right? Does that mean we keep on sinning? No, but there is no reward for sins. Our sins are wiped out. And we can lose our rewards, actually, right? In Islam, your sins become a reward. I mean, if you're watching this and you're a Muslim, think about it. He doesn't get it, but maybe you watching, you get it. You repent to Allah, fine, but how many times? What is repentance? Right? What is repentance? When you feel bad, when you turn away from sin, but how many times can you do that? It doesn't say that. So you could, you could decide today, Allah, I'm sorry, 
okay, you killed a hundred people, I will reward you, or you go and steal, or you go and do all this sin, and then in a year's time, you go and do the same. Oh, I'm sorry, Allah, and you get more rewards. This is not right, this is wicked, right? And uh, if you, you, you would have seen that I put a video on my channel with Mohammed Ijab and Ali Dawa, discussing this in such an evil way, saying, and, your, and guess what? Your sins will be turned into a word. This is wrong. If you don't see that, I'm sorry. I wanted, I wanted to shed some light, but if you don't see it, I can't make you see it, that this is not right. Look, I explained to you what is repentance. I explained, yeah? It's in the video. Can you repeat what I said? Turning away from um, sin. Okay. Okay. Did I say just that? Say it again so we clarify. So you were listening to me or not? I was listening, but can they just clarify so to get it absolutely you're certain? Claims about Islam, mm -hmm. And you can't remember even a phrase. One phrase just you can't kindly, just kindly, phrase. just kindly repeat yourself so that we are absolutely certain, please. Thank you very much. So if you want to listen, you will you will understand. But if you don't want, you are here to make videos. If I explain to you everything, you will not understand. I'm here to expose the wickedness okay. of Islam because this is okay. wicked. So you see the double, uh, the change. But please, the no, please, you wanted to uh, firstly, say again. Firstly, you came, you mm -hmm. said to me, you are here sincerely, you want mm -hmm. us to earn salvation. Of course. And you now you say you are here to expose. It's the same thing, right? It's the same thing because I don't want you to go to hell. But in order for me to share to you the way to go, not to go to hell, I have to expose that what sincerity. you follow is wicked. You don't have sincerity. How you can call people to be sincere? Mm? You don't have sincerity. I have yourself. sincerity. Where is it? Right, I'm when here. You come in here, like, oh, I'm here to share with you uh, to earn salvation. And then, you know, I'm here to expose you. So I'm not exposing you. you. I, it's not personal. I don't know you. Yeah, I mean, I'm here to expose. Islam is satanic. Islam denies the crucifixion and the resurrection of Christ. In Christianity, it's very clear the only way to get saved is through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is Lord. Islam, who denies this, is, is not from God. It's a different message of salvation. Furthermore, as I proved to you, your, your sins will be turning to good deeds. As I proved to you in the Quran, Quran 2570 tells you that Allah will turn your evilness into good. And in the Hadith, it says the same. This is wicked. Now, I'm exposing it because I don't want you to perish. These people are listening. I don't want them to perish. But Can as part of... Please do. Thank you. Can you explain to your audience the story of Zacchaeus? The tax you explain it. You bring it up. You bring it up. You, you explain it. No, because this is another red herring. Do you know the story? I, do you know the story or not? I know, I know. I know. But just explain it. You're bringing it up. I came here to discuss a verse in the Quran and then a Hadith and I said this. We are at our table. My friends have a Bible table over there. If people have questions about Christianity, I came here to ask him about Islam because I exposed Islam for being from the devil. He wants to talk about the Bible. If you want to tell me what you want to share, right? You want to talk about something in the Bible, you, you share it. You show me where it is in the Bible and we'll discuss it. Don't ask me to open it for you. But anyway, I don't, you know, I don't want animosity. Um, the reason why I'm passionate about this is because I don't want Muslim people to go to hell. You know, um, and this is why I'm here. I don't want you to go to hell or any of the people here. But to do, to do this, I have to expose Islam for the wickedness that it presents. Which wickedness? I, I can't see it. Right, the most wicked thing is um, the, to deny Jesus Christ as Lord and to deny the resurrection. In the Bible, it's very clear to be saved, to be saved from hell, you have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead. So Islam, just on that basis, yeah, is in Romans. So who wrote Romans? Paul. An apostle of Jesus Christ. Why he never met Jesus by his He did, apostle? he did. Where? But you asked me a question, I'm looking for the verse. No, no, <laughs> so he asked me, please kindly let I, I look for the verse and now you ask me three questions, right? Right. Thank you very much. Right, he asked me where does it say in the Bible what I just said about salvation. So if you look in Romans chapter ten, verse nine, it says 
If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now, Islam denies this. These two very things that you need to get saved, Islam denies it. That is wickedness. And I'm not attacking you personally or Muslim people. I love Muslim people, but I have to speak out against something that is anti-Christ. This is wicked and it will lead people to hell. And if you're watching this, you should read the Bible yourself and come up to your own conclusion. Can you, can you tell us why you love Muslim people? I love you because I don't want you to go to hell, right? So why you love us if we are wrong? What do you mean if I'm wrong? I love you guys, not on a personal romantic level. I love people, I love people, so I share the gospel with them, okay? Jesus said, Jesus said to love people, love God and love people. That's the whole of the law fulfilled. But I'll talk to you after because I, I want to have a one-to-one. -one. I'm nearly done. You love Muslims. Of and course. You're saying they are wrong. So why you love them? I love you and I love them because I don't want you to go to hell. Hell is for eternity, right? Hell is for eternity. I love you. I have the Holy Spirit. God loves you even more, right? So if you're saying that we are wicked, we're all wicked, not saying you. You are wicked. We all, we have a fallen human nature. Are you wicked? All of us, so me, you, are you, him, all of us, we have a fallen nature. You know who said are, we're are wicked? You, you are wicked. Uh, yes, I would say I'm a sinner and Jesus died for me. Are you, are you a good person? Jesus said, you're a good person. I'm a Muslim. Do you know what Jesus said about this? Do you know what Jesus said? He said I'm a Muslim. Right. Jesus said that all have fallen short of God's glory, all have sinned, right? And Jesus said that he didn't come for those who think they're righteous, he came for those who are sinners. That's what the Bible says, right? I'm not attacking you personally. I'm not attacking Mohammed because I know you really love Mohammed and stuff, but I am attacking Islam as an ideology because it's the antichrist. You said that you love Muslims. Can you explain yeah. to us why you said you love Muslims? I love you because I don't want you to go to hell. So, but you say to us that we are wicked. And I say to you, I'm not I'm saying Muslim. you're wicked. All of us are wicked. I'm not attacking you personally. You said Islam is wicked. Islam is an ideology Islam, is wicked. Islam, you said Islam is we all human Islam beings are wicked. Right? You said Islam Let me do one time because I turn yeah. people away from. Uh, thank you. Yeah. You said Islam is satanic. You said yeah. We are wicked. But still you said you love us. Burn the witch! Can you say, can you say to witch. us why you love us? Huh? Can you say to us why you love us? Why you said you because love us? Because eternity is a long time and I don't want you to go to hell. You still you said you love us. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't explain that that's the future. Now you love us. Why? Because I um, because the God okay, Jesus said, so we have the Ten Commandments, right? From the Old Testament. In the old covenant, Jesus came as a new covenant and he summarized the law in two things. He said, love God and love people. And he said, that's the whole of the law fulfilled. So I love God. God commanded me to share the gospel and I love people. God said that I should love my neighbor. And because of this great love that God has for you, for me, for everybody, I share the gospel. And unfortunately to do this, I have to expose something that is false that will lead people to hell. It's not just Islam, anything, atheism, Hinduism, any religion that is false, I have to expose it. So now because you're, you're saying that our religions are false, so what makes your religions true? Um, Can you give us objective reasons? Don't give me any subjective reasons. Give me objective reasons that your religion is, is, is right. The resurrection of Jesus Christ have you seen it? There are people who have seen it. But here is the thing. There, there was that? people witnessing his crucifixion. Can you name? Can you name? Um, Peter saw it, Mary saw it, you know, the so mother of Jesus Christ. Um, we have they, manuscripts. They saw, huh? they saw, they saw the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. They saw, they saw him resurrected. How, like, where, give, us the, give us the reference where they saw him resurrected. Okay. <laughs> I, I know that none of the disciples was there. But they saw him resurrected. 
So how you can say that they they high with you? You you can do. That's not true. I mean, they were. I mean, this is the, the John the Baptist disciple from, was there. From the Jesus disciple. spoke to them while while he was on the cross and told them, "This is your mother, and you are her son." He, he was, his brother was there, and the other women were there, Mary, and also John, one of the disciples, was there, and he spoke to them. So you find the verses? Did you find? Right. We have a couple of verses in here. In one Peter one three. It says, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy has given us new birth into living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. In Matthew 28, 6, it says, um, Know that you seek Jesus who has been crucified. He is not here for He has risen. Like He said, come and see where the, uh, the place where the Lord was lying. So there is the Bible, but there is something that is more powerful than the Bible. Which one? John 2028. We yeah, we have Thomas who saw him resurrected and called him my Lord and my God. We saw we have eyewitnesses, but there is something more powerful, right? Which is this is the worst. Okay. okay. Just read the, the first one. Mm -hmm. What's it? When John when Jesus yeah, this one. One second. Okay, let's talk about the Bible. Yeah. According to the Bible. According to the Bible, right? Matthew 27. It's John 19, 25. So she counted, she counted my Bible. Yeah, we're going to wrap this up. So we're going to wrap this up, guys, because uh, my friends want to go. So you're saying eyewitness is there. Right, I'm going to read the verses now. Okay. In John 19, from verses 25 to 29. Now, they stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus the first saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. After that, Jesus, knowing all things are now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there and they filled the sponge with sour wine and it his up and they put it in his mouth. What is the reference? John? Uh, it's John 19, 25. John 19, 25. Uh, Muhammad is coming. He's coming. He's coming. I'm here with the video. But we, we finished now. <laughs> no, but we've done it. It's not finished. We have all the way to the huh? end of the day. Okay. Yeah. No, the one that I showed you. And then he's... Um, so, um, ask, let me ask you a question now, right? So, according Are we, to... Let's carry on. Let's carry on reading because it says that Jesus is pierced from the cross. You don't want to read it. He asked me. He asked me. Right. What was, what was his question? He asked me, where does it show in the Bible that Jesus was crucified and resurrected? The eyewitnesses. He said they saw the resurrection. Yes, there was 500 people that saw the resurrection. Then there was uh, and the, 12, the 12 disciples, then there was Paul, 12 disciples, and five, apostles, so 500. Mm -hmm. James, so sorry, let me ask you, let me ask you this question then. Right, let's 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 finish reading the death of Jesus Christ. Therefore, because it was a preparation day, the body should not remain on the cross on the Sabbath. So, so he was dead, for the Sabbath was a high day. That Jesus asked Pilate that their legs might be broken, that they might be taken away. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other, who was crucified Can you with talk him. About the, the, the sign of Jonah. Can you talk about sign of Jonah? Uh, Why are we changing subject? Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and the other who was crucified with him but when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead did you hear that but when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead did you get that right they did not break his legs but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and immediately blood and water came out and he who was seen has testified I will finish the verse and he who has let me finish the verse and he who has seen has testified and his testimony is true and he knows that he is telling the truth that you may not believe for these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled not one of his bones shall be broken and again another scripture says they shall look on him whom they pierce look at Isaiah 53 
Jesus was prophesied in the Old Testament. He died. Are you here to preach or are you in dialogue? We finished the conversation. What is dialogue mean? I had a dialogue with your friend. This is this the death of the John. John book of John says that the death of the death. Okay, that's what Jesus. Jesus. Are you Jesus listening to me, please? They want to do a wrap up. Can I just? No, but can just right. Do you want to do a debate with him no, and no, with no, him? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, he wants to ask. This is the verse that he was the supposed to be reading. Okay. So I'm getting I'm conflicting messages. Like, who are you talking? Are you talking to me? You're talking to your. No, I'm getting. Me. Sorry. Okay. So you are coming here to prove your point mm -hmm. the truth, right? Mm -hmm. You're coming here to prove me Christianity the truth. So you have mm -hmm. to speak to me, not your brother. Not reading all the Bible, right? Let's say. You say John, according to John, Jesus died on the cross, right? He was in the tomb, he was dead, he no, resurrected. The, this was, is about his mother being there. Look, okay. uh, look, you asked the question. Mother, look, look, look. Let me, let me, let me. No, you asked her a question. One, 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 Can you tell him that one, 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 all right. Answer, answer, answer the question. Now, because Sorry. I wanna, we're wrapping answer up the, the video. Question. I will answer. I will answer. Right. I'll be back in a minute. Pause it if you want. Right. So, um, these guys managed to change the conversation from the Quran um, to the Bible. The thing is, Muslim people are desperate for the truth, you know. So when you debunk Islam. Um, you know, you need to show why Christianity is true. Why Christianity is true? We know that the Bible says that Jesus died and resurrected on the cross, and we know that that's the only way to salvation. Um, there is absolutely no evidence for the Islamic claims of Jesus. There is no Injil, um, there is no Torah. They say it got lost, there is no evidence. Um, we have uh, evidence, you know, of the resurrection. We have hundreds of millions of people who have the Holy Spirit, people's lives changed by Jesus, people who have seen Jesus in their dreams, people who've had revelations, people who've gone from darkness to light. This is the biggest testimony. It's the Holy Spirit that lives inside us. You know, you, if you're watching this, um, and you're living, you know, you're dead in your sins. You can have a new life through Jesus Christ if you repent and accept him today. As I've proven to you, um, Islam is wicked because it tells you that your sins will be turned into rewards, which means the more sins you commit, the more rewards you get. The gentleman disagreed with me, but I showed you the verse in the Quran and I showed you the Hadith. Now you decide what it means. There is no justice in Islam. In Christianity, we have justice through Jesus Christ because he died for all our sins and so that we may have a new life in him through the Holy Spirit, we become new creation. Repent and get saved today. Amen. That's it. That's it. Right.